Now, hormones is the subject that I like to talk about the most. It's the focus of our natural health and nutrition course because the hormonal system, actually known as the endocrine system, the system actually controls everything in your body. Really what the hormonal system is, it's a, it's a series of glands in your body. And we call it the hormonal system, but it does so much more. It controls everything. You've got your pituitary gland, which is the size of a pea in your, in your head. Okay? That's the managing director or the CEO. It manages and directs this whole system. But for example, if the pituitary gland is not working properly and you were, if you were pregnant you would, and you had a child, you wouldn't be able to breastfeed. You wouldn't have enough milk, for example. Pituitary gland is involved in every single function just about in the body because it directs all the other glands. And you've got your thyroid, which is you need to get to know it. Say pituitary, thyroid. You get to know your body system and your body. I think it's the most powerful tool that you can have is to actually get to know your body so that you understand it. You don't need a degree in physiology and anatomy. You really don't. You just need to understand the basics. It's a great place to be. Don't let the excuse of not knowing how your body works get into a place where you, your health is out of control. You actually control your own health. We don't realize it until it's actually presented to us or we start to try it out. And then we start to try a couple of things and we think, oh, I am feeling better. Oh, this is working better. And very often you'll find you actually learn more than the advisors, your medical advisors around you. They don't even know how the digestive tract. They did learn it at medical school, but they've long passed that because it's not about helping you get well. And I'm not slating doctors. They're fantastic when you're in a car accident. My daughter's standing here, broke her neck two years ago in a car accident, and she is a walking miracle because the doctors actually fixed her neck with titanium plates and screws and all kinds of things. And she's able to do yoga and swim and go in the sauna. And the plate doesn't get hot in your neck, does it? <laughs> so she's a walking miracle. And the last thing I'm going to do is say we don't need doctors. We do. In the world we live in with these accidents and things, they're fantastic in putting bodies back together and putting your blood back in you and everything else. But when it comes to your day-to-day -day health, they're not going to help you find the problem. They're going to treat your symptom. And so a doctor, a good doctor, will actually tell you. He'll, they say to you, and I have doctors as friends, says, all we do is we help people to manage their conditions with things that suppress symptoms. That's what you do. We'll suppress your symptoms. We won't say, how did the candida get into the lungs? What's the rest of the body like? Oh, you've got candida in the lungs. Big doses of antibiotics. So they'll treat it, but there's no, we know you can't cure candida overgrowth with antibiotics. It's a known fact, you can't do it because you just keep destroying the friendly bacteria, okay? So it's up to us to understand our bodies and you don't need to have a physiology textbook, but they're actually quite a lot of fun to read because you sit there and think, Oh my word, my liver does 500 different, performs 500 different functions. Now I put a lot of that stuff in the 365 program, which is one of our online programs, where you're learning about your body, your 12 pillars of health, your 12 body systems. One of them is the endocrine system, which you learn about in the first sort of, first month there's a kind of general getting into it, and in that first month when you're getting into a body system, we cover this endocrine system in a lot a nice bite-sized pieces so you really understand how it works. So this is me just doing it briefly for you to help you to understand. If you want to know more about your body, the 365 is an ideal program for you to go on. It's an entire year of emails every day learning about your body and you meet with me every week to ask questions on Zoom. It can be on a Wednesday night or it can be on a Thursday morning. And if you want to know more, there's the natural health and nutrition course you can study, which will help you to help other people. Otherwise, you can just go on YouTube and learn whatever you want to learn and make sure that you're learning from people who actually live a healthy lifestyle because there's a lot of nonsense out there as well. So the endocrine system, okay? The uh, thyroid gland controls, as I say, the body weight, your metabolism, your muscle tone, your muscle strength. It also controls mental clarity. So when you have those brain fog issues, you know that something's happening with the thyroid. Now for me, for example, I found that if I have gluten or I have garlic and onion, it affects my, my brain, I have brain fog. So I'm like, that's affecting me. Now that's been fascinating for me to find out that gluten does affect the thyroid gland. It can slow down the function of the thyroid. So you can slow your metabolism down, which would explain why even when I had organic whole wheat bread, one slice a day, every day for five days, 
I would gain five kilograms, literally. And I would gain 10 years on my face. Mark used to say to me, what are you doing? You look like 10 years older in a week. What have you done? Like, I was trying, trying to figure out what it was that I was doing. And I've never been a big bread eater, so it would be like a slice of bread. Organic, homemade, whole wheat. I've made it myself, for goodness sake. It's supposed to be healthy. So I found that I was gluten intolerant. When I stopped the gluten, I found out that I had actually probably been constipated my whole life, but I didn't realize it. That's also the thyroid gland controls the movement of food through your digestive tract. So constipation is a sign very often, chronic constipation. How do you know you're constipated? Very easily. Put up your forefinger. That's how thick your stools should be when you actually go to the bathroom. Most people find they're not. They're more like three or four fingers. If you're having to sit in the bathroom and nothing happens and nothing happens, constipation doesn't mean you never go. I have met a woman who didn't go to the bathroom and have a bowel movement for two whole weeks. And I meet people that don't have for three days. You should go between one and three times a day very comfortably without pushing, without straining. It should work comfortably. That's how it should work. If you eat beets today or you eat corn off the cob today and you look when you next go to the bathroom within 24 hours, they should be coming out. If they come out 78 hours later, that's how sluggish your bowels are. Sorry to talk about this gross stuff, but it's part of life, okay? You can't believe what questions I get asked over the dinner table if we go to dinner with people. So at the end of the day, you don't want to be constipated because the most common form of cancer in South Africa and westernized countries like ours is colorectal cancer. And it's because our food is in our digestive tract for way longer than it should be. And you get, you, you get inflammation um, and, the, and you get that chronic inflammation because you've got food lying there much longer than it should. It's waste products that should get out. Chronic inflammation eventually causes damage to the, the cells. And when you get damaged, you might get some gastrointestinal bleeding. You might get some ulceration. You might get... And that goes on for years and years, and eventually you're getting these damaged cells reproducing damaged cells, and that's what cancer is. That's all it is. It's damaged cells that have got out of control. The body can't repair itself fast enough. Okay, so you want your bowels to empty properly. You need your thyroid to function efficiently. Gluten could be one of the things that's causing that problem. I had to make the choice. Bread, discomfort. Bread, and brain fog, bread. You know, it's just, just dry skin. My skin used to dry out terribly from it. And, the, and again, the thyroid controls the condition of your skin. If your skin is very dry and flaky and your bowels are sluggish, that's an indication that your thyroid gland's not working properly. So the other symptoms are weight gain, sluggish metabolism, dry skin, dry orifice. All the spaces in your body have dried out. And you know what I'm talking about? We're all ladies here, but I'm not going into that. The nether regions of your body dry out. It's very uncomfortable, okay? So the thyroid gland controls a lot of things, and a lot of people today end up with a sort of thyroid gland that doesn't work properly, and then they go and get onto thyroid medication. Again, we're treating the symptom. When we've seen people change their diets, for example, honey has been in the group, you get people onto the 30-day detox. Janine, you've been there. 30-day detox, usually if they repeat that 30-day detox two or three months, usually by day 45 to day 60, the thyroid starts working and the weight just drops off and the skin improves and the bowels are working constipation's going, but it takes that long to correct it. Now, if you think of it, 45 days is not a long time if you happen to be 45 years old. Thank God it doesn't take 45 years to repair the thyroid. It's 45 days. The body's very forgiving. So it's just like we've got this weird thing that humans do where we just want to take responsibility for our bodies and give it to somebody else, and we don't want to think about it. But the problem is if you don't think about your health and do something today, you're going to have to live with the problems later on. And then it's a lot harder. You know, 45 days to correct the endocrine system when you're 45 or 50 or whatever it is, this particular woman that I'm thinking of was 50, if you just leave it and leave it and leave it, you could end up with some severe problems that are going to take longer. But honestly, I've seen the endocrine system, no matter how old you are, usually on the 30-day detox program within 90 days max. It's like doing the 30 days three times, you correct it, okay? So it controls all of this, okay? That's your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands control mineral balance in the body. So it's also got to do with bone density. I'm gonna put the bones and teeth. You know, you go along to the dentist, says your teeth are falling out of your head. And you're like, why? I floss and I clean and I'm doing all of this right. That could relate back to endocrine, your adrenal function, for example. Then you also have little cells in your stomach called the parietal cells. And parietal cells secrete hydrochloric acid in your stomach and they're controlled by the endocrine system. 
And those parietal cells secrete the hydrochloric acid to activate the enzyme that breaks down protein in your stomach. And if you don't secrete enough hydrochloric acid to do that process, you won't produce enough vitamin B12. So you could end up with B12 deficiency because these cells are not working properly. You can't just go and fix them. You can't take medicine to fix parietal cells. Normally what they'll do is just give you some kind of digestive enzyme that's got hydrochloric acid in here. So, well, you don't have enough here, it is. But it's always ideal to try and focus on getting the system working properly. All right, so then we have the digestive tract. The digestive tract is controlled by the endocrine system. There's no actual glands in there, but everything that happens in the digestive tract is controlled by the endocrine system. The other glands that we have are the reproductive glands which is the ovaries and the testes. So anything to do with that. When we think reproduction, it's also menopause. It's menstruation. It's premenstrual tension. So if you put PMS, menopausal problems, and we start listing all of the things that go with that, the dry skin and the dry body parts and everything else, libido, all of that's connected in here. Adrenal glands help you manage stress efficiently. And just adding that there. Now, a lot of people say to you, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going through menopause. That's all the endocrine system here. It doesn't matter which gland it is, that's usually your genetic weak spot. A healthy woman goes through the menopause with no symptoms whatsoever. She simply stops menstruating. That's it. So I thought I was in for a healthy menopause, and I got to menopause, and it was going really, really well. And then just arbitrarily, I would get this hot flush, maybe once a month, and I'm like, this is terrible. And then that night, I wouldn't sleep. And then maybe a week later again, and I started seeing the link. For me, it was dairy products and gluten. Although it was out of my diet, I would go out to a restaurant or out and eat at somebody's house, and there'd be a bit of feta cheese in the salad, and I might have eaten a piece or two. There might have been a bit of gluten in something or other. And every time I got the hot flush and the sleepless nights and felt like I was losing my mind a bit, I feel a little bit like brain feels a bit scrambled, I would think, like, what have I eaten? And that's when I became totally 100% gluten-free. That was 15 years ago. Went the whole gluten-free route, and that's the reason I did it. Now, I didn't want to. I wasn't planning to go gluten-free. But I also noticed going through menopause that I started getting that thickened waist. Your waist starts to get thick, and I don't want a thickened waist. I've always had a waist. I don't want to have no waist. I also don't want to walk around not eating. Some people just don't eat, and they eat a lettuce leaf and keep going on that. I can't do that. I'm very physically active. Just this morning we walked six kilometers, speed walked it. We're going to the whale outlook now. We're so proud of ourselves. Yeah. But we're doing more. Each year that comes on, we actually do more, more exercise. So we exercise twice a day because I know that's what helps the endocrine system work properly. That's one of the things we'll look at. So anything and everything that kind of goes wrong in the body, whether we look at diabetes, we can look at arthritis, allergies. Why? Because these are also controlled by the same system, your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands produce natural antihistamines and natural anti-inflammatories. They're those little glands on top of the kidneys. They also control your blood pressure, your blood sugar, and help you manage stress. So you'll find when you're under chronic, chronic stress, even if you're eating healthy, allergies may flare up. You just start getting a bit of hay fever. You're like, oh, I shouldn't be getting hay fever. I'm healthy now. I'm not having dairy. I'm not having preservatives. But if you are under chronic stress, your adrenal glands are working hard to manage your stress and producing all the stress hormones. And then they're not producing enough natural anti-inflammatories and not natural antihistamines. So you might find that if you ever had sore knees and they went away, now you're under chronic stress, your sore knees come back. It's one of the reasons why when people go on holiday and they rested and relax, a lot of their symptoms disappear because the adrenal glands are at rest and they can handle all the other junk that you're putting into the body. But if there's stress, and the stress can be work, relationships, weather, the news, your stress won't create all of this. It'll just get a little flare up here, and a little flare up here, and a little flare up here. This system controls your liver function, your kidney function, your brain function, your heart function, your cell, your cell function, your skin function, your lung function is controlled by the endocrine system. Hormones are made in these different glands. These hormones then go to different places in the body, and they make chemical reactions take place. And those chemical reactions help to all of the stuff to work properly. So it's a really, it's the most important in our natural health and nutrition course and in our 365. We focus on this system. You'll see in my books, the focus is on the endocrine system. Because if you get this working properly, 99% of your problems are going to go away. So how do you handle stress? 